everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is I your girl Sandra Peachy M W coming back to you with another video. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, baby. And if you want to help a broke girl out, there are ways to do that in the description box below. Now, in today's video, as a follow-up from uh, last week's video, which was uh, cost of living in Malawi, there have been a couple of people who asked me to do a what I spend in a month video for you guys to truly understand how much a young girl like me in her 20s, living alone, no family, would roughly spend. Um, I don't mind sharing these figures because I know that people who are kind of iffy in Malawi, in Malawi because these videos do exist out there, people are kind of iffy about sharing numbers, but I don't care. Yeah, okay. So, I will be sharing to you how much I spend for different costs. And if you're interested in any of that and you are looking to move out as a young Malawian, uh, I guess this video works out for you. Uh, so, please subscribe and stay tuned. So, I am going to start off with my most important expenses, okay? Bills, baby, bills. Okay, <laughs> these are the most important things. So, uh, we're gonna do main things that you can't live without so we'll start off with rent this is considering a month that i have to pay rent because i don't pay rent every month i pay rent three months in advance so two months i don't pay rent and then i pay rent and then two months i don't pay rent and then i pay rent i do advise a young person to do this because even though in the month that you're paying rent is going to be horrible you're going to be very broke um, it's better that way because then you get to enjoy your money on the other two months because our income here in Malawi is not that great we don't make that much money so living like having a month where you don't have to pay rent actually slaps it bangs you could use that money for something else also I just want to advise a young person who wants to move out not to have live in a house that's outside of your means don't get a house that's like 150 and you are getting 200,000 every month you know what I mean if you can get a housemate uh, I have friends who live with housemates and that works out quite well for them because then they get to share that expense and there's no stress at all I, I didn't want to share my house I didn't want to live with nobody <laughs> so I don't share my house but it's in within my it's not it's it's not more than half of my salary in fact it's, it's way less it's like maybe 30% of my salary I think I don't know somewhere there uh, but what I'm trying to say is get a place that will not leave you hanging or even me when I paid three months rent I still have a little bit of something left over for me to like cling on to for the rest of the month so have that in mind so my rent is 100,000 a month and I paid 300,000 on a rent month if we move on to food Food, I've included my groceries and food that I eat at work. At work, I eat every day between 1,500 and 2,500. So if I'm feeling really fancy, I'll spend 2,500. If I'm feeling less fancy, I'll spend 1,500. 1,500 is the basic cost. And mind you, I don't buy food all the time. I do also cook sometimes. So if I've cooked dinner that night, I will carry something to eat so that also helps so all together with groceries i spend about 120 so that's like the, the forty thousand of lunch and the rest goes into buying groceries for the house uh, so i usually spend about 120. this 120 involves food involves toiletries and stuff like those are like general groceries but with groceries it sometimes fluctuates sometimes it's less because it's not every day if i buy like a huge room like the thing of toilet paper that comes 12 of them i don't need to buy that next month you know if i buy four dishwashing liquids or i tend to buy in bulk that means the next month i'll spend maybe 50 or 60 on groceries and then the rest on my on lunch money that i spend at work so that's how i share that expense if we move on to transportation, um, I generally don't move with um, minibuses, public transport. I used to, but I don't now. I don't know why. I think it's just more convenient. I like to be dropped off at my house, like just by the door. So I'd rather use a motorbike or a cab. 
granted this is more on the pricey side uh, I know friends who ask me why the hell do you spend so much on a cap and I was like for convenience I pay for the convenience so if I really don't want to be in traffic and stuff like that I get myself a Tutumula which is a, a bike if I don't mind being in traffic I'm not in such a rush I'll get myself a cap I have a cap guy called Dave in fact Dave takes me from my house to work uh, every day and I have a special prize okay I have a special prize because um, Dave's sister his mom and my mom are really close so we're kind of related so I have a special prize he charges me really cheap because he charges me half of what other cab drivers would have charged me if I had asked for the same service from them so in regards to my cab I pay 35,000 to go to work and come back and roughly 40,000 for my miscellaneous trips in this 40,000 it's 750 per mile and I usually go to town and back or it's 1,000 I mean it's 2,500 to go to town and back with my motorbike so that's the 40,000 for my weekend gallivanting um, it also varies because usually Sometimes I don't move as much. Sometimes I just have a ride from my friends and all that. So in total for transportation, I've spent roughly 75,000 Malawi kwacha. For electricity, mm -hmm. uh, I just moved into a house that has a geezer. And this is the first time since I've lived alone that I've had to pay for my own electricity. Mind you, I've lived, you have the chance to live in houses where bills are included. These are usually houses that are at the back, like servants' quarters or the boys' quarters. So bills are paid by the main house and they charge you rent and usually so you don't have to pay the rent. So the, my pre previous two places it was that case, so I've never paid water, never paid electricity, had no idea, had no idea what that incorporated and what that involved. And then finally I moved into this place where I have to pay my own water. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pay my own water bill and electricity bill and that costs me roughly 20,000 kwacha and this house has a geyser so electricity for just me uh, to bath up the geyser every day to you know switch on my lights is 20,000 ESCOM helps you save because they be giving you load shedding they cut the lights they cut the lights you don't have electricity so you're not spending your units you see ESCOM you're here for us eh? you're here for us <laughs> But water, water is quite cheap. It's 1,000 water for one cubic meter, which is 1,000 liters of water in Malawi. Well, where I stay, I don't know about any other place. So I usually spend about 10,000 kwacha for water, which lasts me so long. Usually two months, two months or a month. It's, ah, it lasts me so long. Water, honestly, is quite affordable. So water and electricity altogether, I spend 30,000 kwacha. Now we go on to Wi-Fi. Uh, Wi-Fi is quite cheap now. Ever since Airtel did that thing, that Mofire thing where they made bundles unreasonably affordable, like <laughs> all the internet providers had to tag a lot. So for Wi-Fi, I pay Afrimax 30,000 kwacha for unlimited internet for the whole month but for my mobile plan I use Airtel Morefire the 10,000 watcher one which gives me 50 GBs a month which now I use when I'm moving around in town when I'm not in my house but Wi-Fi for me to upload these videos and stuff like that it is um, 30,000 watcher so for entertainment luckily I don't drink um, I do do shisha so that's my main expense when I do go out uh, entering into the club door most of the time it's free uh, but if it's not it's around 2,000 kwacha and I drink um, Red Bull so Red Bull or Dragon so for me on a night uh, like a month in terms of entertainment or going out to eat and stuff like that would cost me about 50,000 kwacha I don't usually go more over that because also as a young lady you know, people tend to offer you stuff and offer you, you know, drinks. You go with your bae, you go with your friends, and you don't. I don't usually spend that much, you know. And it's usually two Red Bulls a night or one Dragon a night. And Red Bull costs two thousand five hundred, and Dragon costs uh, two thousand. So going out is not expensive. Maintenance. So maintenance. This is maintaining the house. I clean my own house. I don't have a maid. Um, but I do have a maid for my mom. I don't. Yeah, that's it. I don't have a maid. 
so I do my own house like I clean my own house but the outside I have a garden boy and someone to do my laundry so my mom's maid is 25,000 kwacha yeah no, 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 it's 25, but then I'm increasing because of what's happened with the economy, so it's going to be about 35. And then the guy who does the outside charges per task, so usually it amounts to 20,000 kwacha a month. So that's about 50 something, 55 uh, for the month in terms of maintaining the home. Yeah, that's the cost of that. If we look at clothes, I do thrift, like I said, thrifting is affordable, but that depends. So I'm not gonna put much on clothes. I don't buy clothes all the time. I, I'm not a shopaholic. So clothes depend, it ranges between 20 to 50, depending on that month if I'm buying something, like excessively buying stuff, but I don't, I don't shop like that. So it's not that much. So I'm gonna put a total number here. Yeah, because I haven't yet calculated a total, so when I'm editing this, I will put a total. That is how much I spend in a month as a young 26-year-old girl in Malawi. I hope this video has helped somebody, helped them budget, helped them plan uh, for yourself as a young person also. And yeah, that is it from me. If you want more content like this, please let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.